Hey there, everyone. Welcome to the 2024 through 2025 AFC South Week 3 review. And oh, yeah. Ugh. The first two weeks, it was Houston Texans that were the only AFC South team to walk away with a win. This week, however, it's Indianapolis Colts, people. Yep, Indianapolis Colts were the only AFC South team to walk away with a win. Ugh. And, and to make matters worse, the Texans, the Titans, the Jaguars, they all lost big. Oh, yeah. It was by far humiliating. Oh, yeah. Ugh. But at least the Titans were the only team to not lose as badly as the Texans and the Jaguars did. I mean, seriously. But still, Titans are 0-3. Ugh. Because of that, because of the embarrassing, the embarrassing performances they got i mean seriously i i really don't want to i really want to be a real titans fan but seriously when are they gonna step up i mean seriously malik willis finally got revenge malik willis finally got revenge for being traded oh boy yeah and then there was also the pick six. Oh, jeez, i really hated that Ugh. Ugh. two more interceptions from will levis which one of them was which I gotta say, uh, Jahir Alexander, you really had a had a really good game. Uh, oh my word! But still, yeah, there was all. But still, we all. But still, we. I gotta admit, we all still have. We also had a good game from D Hop. Yep, DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. Ugh. But still, in the end, the Packers still beat the Titans badly, thirty to fourteen. But let's now also focus on the most humiliating defeats. The Texans and Vikings, however, Vikings seriously proved that they're the real deal with Sam Darnold. Oh yeah, Sam Darnold totally, totally gave four touchdown, four touchdowns to the Texans defense. Oh yeah, oh boy, yeah, Sam Darnold really stick. Sam Darnold really stick it to the Texans. Oh, oh my word, yeah, it was by far. It was a real kick in the face right there oh i was very shocked i thought this the battle between a 2 and 0 team was gonna go big but no it was by far a humiliating defeat by the texans oh uh, in the end the vikings won 34 to 7 oh yeah oh boy and then there was but still now we gotta move on to chicago bears and indianapolis colts Indianapolis were the Colts. Yeah, they were the only AFC South team to beat an NFC North team on Sunday because yeah, because they were because they ran the ball big time, and yeah, their touchdowns came from running backs. Two of those touchdowns came from Jonathan Taylor. Oh boy, yeah, Jonathan Taylor really proved himself. In the end, however, it was still a close game. Colts won 21 to 16. Now we move on to the Monday night humiliation. Jacksonville Jaguars losing to Buffalo 47 to 10. 47 to 10. 47 to 10. Oh jeez, yeah, Josh Allen really stuck it to those stuck it to those Jaguars. Oh boy, yeah. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Oh boy, yeah. Four touchdowns for Josh Allen. Oh jeez. Yeah. That was crazy. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was by far humiliating. Way more humiliating than that Texans game. Oh, jeez. At least Jaguars scored more points than the Texans, but still. Oh. Oh, boy. But yeah, it still turned out 47 to 10. <laughs> oh. But anyways, now we move on to week four people and now and yeah <sighs> the the week four preview we got jack on sunday we got jacksonville jaguars taking on houston texans the stage is houston people <sighs> oh yeah meanwhile indianapolis colts will be taking on pittsburgh steelers who are coming off a win against the los angeles chargers oh oh my. yeah they keep on charging it up yeah, Ooh. 
Meanwhile, the Tennessee Titans, who are 0-3, going into Monday Night Football, taking on the Miami Dolphins, and the QB situation's looking sneaky, people, because not only are the Miami Dolphins are tua lists, but they also have Skylar Thompson, who is injured, people. Oh, yeah, 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 it's going to be a real, real, yeah. No offense, but this is going to be... No offense, this is not looking too good. No matter who the QB is, if Titans can't afford, afford to beat the Dolphins, why is Will Levis even our QB? I mean, seriously. Because, yeah, we got... Because Skylar Thompson is definitely, definitely... Someone to watch, to watch this week. Ugh. Anyways, that's all for now. See you when I bring you even more breaking news.